what their boys will be having for them here. It is Uganda and Somalia in this edition, game number two of today. It's the Sikapa Senior Challenge Cup hosted by Uganda. Last time Uganda won it, 2012. Somalia and Uganda locking horns today at the Pearl of Africa here tonight. So basically it's the Pearl of Africa. But up against the Horn of Africa. Somalia the Horn, Uganda the Pearl scored on the opening day. So it's that player to look at for. But let's begin with the lineups here. And we shall be going down to the lineup over the Bright Stars, coached by Ghanaian Bashira. High Ford was actually made one change to the lineup that actually picked up that draw against Djibouti. Omar Abdullahi is assisted by a new entrant, Anwar Sidali, as they look for the goals tonight. Somalia, the Horn of Africa here. And of course, the lineup for the Ugandan side. Jonathan McKinstry also making some changes to the lineup. Ben Ochen is relegated to the bench, replaced by a gentleman by the names of Dalis Ojara, Joachim, and also Joel Madondo starts the game today too for the Uganda Cranes here. Alan Okello, Shafiq Kajimu, and Bright Alukani continue to take up their roles in the midfield as the defense is unchanged. Mustafa Chiza, John Ravita get ready for the Chan game. Somalia will be getting us underway today. We're putting on their traditional color of blue. And on the other side, Uganda putting on their home kitty, really, of red. Good Ali. Well collected very well by Farhan. Flick back into play, Hassan Abdi for the shot, goes outside. Well, just as you thought that maybe Uganda would be very, very comfortable. Somalia wanting to score the quickest goal in 38 seconds. Just listen to the noise here, listen to the noise. Halid. Uh, this pitch is actually having more Somali fans than Ugandan fans. It's like deflection, could be going out the corner. Here comes the corner to be brought in by Mustafa Chiza, the footballer from KCC. Long ball, just for the header! And straight back to the goalkeeper, but again, good try. Halid Luadida, of all players, actually looking to put that ball in the back of the net. Look at this. Ball brought in by Mustafa Chiza. And Halid Luadida meeting that ball so well. But again, very good stand, very good stand from Guled Abrizak. Well, is the reason as why that did not go anywhere. He was standing at the ball. If he wasn't there, that ball was going in from Halid Luadida. For his side, his draw that ended 1 1. Today, I think he'll be very happy because it's wonderful conditions. Madondo, Joel fighting. And Joel Madondo could be getting the corner kick here. Should corner begun. Here come the Ugandan side, Mustafa Chiza to deliver. And a chance so oh, goes away from Bayo's head. Well, still very wasteful Bayo. And Jonathan McKinstry just cannot believe that that chance was wasted by Bayo. There you go, good cross from Mustafa, good, good ball in. And Bayo, really, was all alone, had all the space right in front of him, just to put that ball away for a goal kick here to Somalia. But the pressure is still on Uganda currently, piling it up. Will that be a free kick? Yes, it's a free kick. Gulet Abrizak. Here comes the free kick. It's bright, leaves it for Mustafa, who goes for the color. Good save from the keeper. Side away is Ali. Wonderful serve there denying Mustafa Chiza. But could have been his first goal of the competition here. But they get themselves a corner, which is begun shot by Bright Anukani. Now delivered into the forbidden area yet again. Not very far. Joel Madondo. Corner. Corner for Uganda. Corner brought through here. Oh, another wasted chance this time again. Halid Luadida. 
Well, he has actually gotten himself in some good territory for a goal, Halid Luadida. Getting into that mood of putting that ball into the right place. This is him again. Halid all alone. Unmarked. And just fails to utilize that opportunity. Zero zero here. Well collected again. Bayo retrieving that ball through. Now here comes Ojara for the shot. Goes outside. Good try from the young URA footballer Jokim Ojara. He's actually making his name felt in those uh, three colors of the Uganda flag black, yellow, red. Showing Jonathan McKinstry that he's worth another calling to the starting lineup. Banning the Tanzanian, sorry, the Kenyan coach for two matches. Paul Wheeler for the shot. Good save from the keeper against Idea Waze Ali. Well, Paul Wheeler is alive here. It is a corner brought in very swiftly, but again, very easy for the Somali side. Youssef collected very well by Farhan. Goes technical bench of Somalia now Madondo Joel lays that ball through it's Alan Okello can he cross no deflects away for a corner well Uganda coming closer and closer they just remind me of the Eritrean game against Burundi and look at this for football Alan Okello I think he was trying to lay it out there for Bayo but again Madondo combining well with Alan and Bayo would have been the finisher but just failing collected by Omar Alan Okello for the shot, deflects, goes in! Well, Alan Okello does not disappoint this time. But that ball goes off the captain Ahmed Saidi Ahmed. And look at Alan Okello celebrate. <laughs> well, Uganda leading Somalia by 1-0. Ahmed Saidi Ahmed deflecting that ball into the back of the net. Well, he tried to throw his body on the line of fire, but very unluckily. Just goes in through. Uganda leading by 1 0 over Somalia. And that silences the Somali fans right now. But look at this from Alan Okello. Does receive the ball from such distance and fires. Oh dear. But unfortunately, deflection of the captain. But maybe, maybe the goalkeeper should have done better. Because he really saw it coming. Allowed it to bounce in front of him. Terrible mistake. Away we continue. Oh, that's very good running. Madondo, it's a chance again. It's Bright Anukani. Bright Anukani, oh dear. Just dancing around with that ball, Bright Anukani. Unfortunately, wanting to square sweet goal. But look at him here. Nice play again by Ujara and Bright. Just trying to dance his way through. Failing to get the right angle for that one. Well, Somalia demanding a free kick. Omar. Flicking that ball back mine. Youssef with the color. Lukwago. Well, they still expect something here, really. They're not giving up hope. Evita. Nice pass. Alan Okello. Oh, look at that. Look at that. And ball. Now that's a Mustafa Chiza territory. Well, the referee awards the handball. He was in the right place to see that. Let's actually watch from the replay. Free kick. Mustafa Chiza goes for this one and goes outside. At the center of the park now, looking for Shafi Kajimu. Right hand side of play to left side now. Mustafa Chiza with the delivery. Bayo! Hits the woodwork. Very unlucky is again Fad Bayo. Well, the goalkeeper Saidi Awaizi Ali won't be very happy, but yet again, the unlucky Bayo rattles the woodwork. Oh, still wondering why the flag went up for the offside. Then the ball was released, actually, Bayo was on side. Pass fired by No pass here from Somalia. And again, Revita, but unfortunately, he handles the ball. 
But he was the one that actually gave away the penalty again as Burundi Revita from the handball. He handles the ball again here, but this time out of the box, Revita. There you go. Revita, very unlucky. His hands actually seem to get themselves in the wrong place sometimes, Revita. That's the second time he has actually handled the ball in two matches. Again as Burundi, penalty. Again as Somalia, out of the box, no penalty. But there's a free kick in a very good territory here that can actually result into something. This goes into the back of the net. It brings back this game to life. Now let's wait and see what can come from here. Oh, chance for the free kick, takes a deflection. Well, the idea was actually very nice. Confusing goalkeeper. Flicked in very, very well here. Brighton Ukani. He's brought down and... <laughs> well, you missed the ball, don't miss the leg. Well, he had no option, really. Liban Abdiaziz. Yeah. It's become a rugby match now. Free kick here. Revita. Mustafa is offside. Mali are looking to make this substitution very soon. And uh, number 14, Anwar Sidali is coming off. And in comes Ali Aden. A substitution for Uganda. Skasozi Nicholas will be the one coming in very very soon to play in the midfield position maybe in the place of Shafiq Kajimu oh, Joel Madondo long ball forward surely Ali Aden this is Ali yet again Ali trying to sidestep here to the byline good cross and no very very close there and Yusuf Safimayor failing to get that notch into the back of it, but again, good entry like I told you, Ali Aden, swift footballer, they are loving it, good run from Ali, good cross it was, a little bit high, a little bit high, but uh, some good football there. Kona brought through very quickly, set it away. Nuchara Shafi Kajibu Bryce Nukani Alan Okello Alan Okello Okello again looks for room to square ah! Alan Okello doubles his tally of goals here wonderful goal from Alan Okello Beauty it was! No stopping that one from Alan Okello. When Alan Okello makes that run on this pitch, he will go for goal. Somalia 0, Uganda 2. When Alan Okello is the man of the moment. Beautiful, beautiful goal from the student that graduated from Chibuli SS. And what a goal it is, what a goal it is. Just as Somalia was thinking of coming back here, Alan Okello gets the ball through, opens his body well, curls it, boom in the back of the net. That's a super Alan Okello goal. That's a trademark Alan Okello goal. And now it's 2 0. Omar. It's pressure up now, Saidi Ali. Omar here. Could be crossing this. Charles Lukwago. Kasozi. Now to Alan Okello. It's a big run from Paul Wheeler. Needs to cross that ball through. Alukani! It's cleared away, but not very away. And that's the hunger from the two young lads colliding in the process. Now this could be trouble for Uganda. And trouble ceases. You can see the smile from Anukani. Look at them. Two players, Anukani together with Alan Okello, all going for the same ball. And Alan Okello wanting a hat trick. 
to be a substitution for Uganda yet again. It's waiting to confirm on who's getting up. It's actually Somali again. Farhan comes out. Hussein comes in. Kasozi. Now Shafi Kajimu venturing forward. Ooh, down goes uh, Ujara Joachim. And he'll be replaced by number three, Seka Jugoviani. One hard worker for another hard worker. And again, Jara out, Viani in. The man himself, Mustafa Chiza. This is Mustafa. Goes for the color, punched away by the keeper. Ball was on target very well. Still alive. Ball Willa! Corner kick. Here comes the corner. Mustafa, it's a short one. They're looking to fire again. Paul Wheeler. Alan Okello loses position. Ball trying to lay that ball through. Super play. Sprite and Ukani. Goes for the short deflex here. And goes for the corner. Corner for Uganda. Just 11 minutes of the game to go. It's a big corner. Bounces back. And Kasozi. Shafi Kasozi. Shafi Kajimu. Oh, that was a very good idea. Aleno Kelo. They win themselves a corner now. Stop for Cheese. Sends that ball through. Chance here. Kasozi. Another corner. All alone, Kasozi. All alone. It's the second time that that ball has been relieved, removed from the line, rather. Short corner, Seka Jugo. Anukani, stolen away. Ali Aiden. And Hussein. Alanukelo now, venturing forward here, inside the D, lays it back. Anukani! Save! And that will be a free kick here. Rather, Bayo Fad. Not Anukani, but Bayo. Look at this stop here. Ooh, good save from the keeper, Saidi Awezi. Good run. Bayo. It was gliding in slowly. Wonderful save from the keeper. Well, some of the skills in today's match. Wonderful football here. Bad bio. Tambada. Long pass through. Now here comes Sekajugo Viani and he's offside. Failing to time his runs. Sekajugo Viani. Well, the referee will be blowing the whistle in just a bit. Again, was he offside? Does it look to me? And there you go. That's the final whistle. Well, Uganda victorious over Somalia here. It's been a wonderful. Alan Okello display here, scoring both goals for the Cranes as they continue to glide their way through in this year's edition, the Sekafa Senior Challenge Cup. They have a game against Djibouti coming up also, Team Uganda. So it's not yet done, as I can say. It's also a game against Eritrea. So basically, it's not yet done for Uganda. It's that Eritrea game. Eritrea getting the better of Burundi today. There's a game against Djibouti also coming through. So that is how it's currently standing up in Group A, which is being led by Uganda. And closely followed by, of course, uh, Somalia over there. Just collected one point from one game. But basically Somalia having a negative, so you can say maybe it's not Somalia, it's Djibouti. 
that actually comes closer to Uganda on goal difference. And for then you have Somalia. Then, of course, uh, the one and only Burundi comes bottom of the table, conceding uh, twice in two games. But again, you have to give it to the Somali fans who actually turned up to give support to their nation. They are the majority, by the way, here. They are the majority, and they are very proud with what they've seen. The man of the moment is Alan Okello. And they're calling him. Look at him. They're calling him through. Trying to call him Alan Okello. Scoring two goals today in this match here against Somalia. As it stands right now, it will be one entertaining game. From one entertaining game to another. But again, give it to the Somali fans. Just give it to them, really. Wonderful, wonderful crowd they have been. Good support they have shown. And trust me, the next time the players come down to play, they'll be very, very happy with the way things are moving on here tonight. Nice game. Nice spirit. Good vision. And the crowd totally loving their team. Even though they have lost by 2-0, they are still well, very excited. But of course, the game comes to an end here in Lugogo. Hard fighting Somalia, nil. Uganda, two. And that's how it is. Let's meet again tomorrow for more of your Sekafa football. Until then, it's bye-bye from Lugogo. Kwaheri. Now, mcha pambano ndio kama hivyo limekamilika katika uwanja huu wa KCC Lugogo hapa ambapo timu ya Uganda wenyeji wameendelea kutoa dozi uh, wakiongeza uh, goli moja katika mchezo ambao wamecheza dhidi ya Somalia. Mchezo ulikuwa na ushabiki mkubwa. Mchezo ulikuwa ni mzuri kweli kweli. Lakini uh, kama lilivyo kawaida mchezaji aliyeng'aa katika mchezo uliopita amengaa tena. Huyu ni Alan Okello kwa mara nyingine akifanya vitu vyake. Uh, Alan congratulations about the winning. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Uh, what's the secret behind a uh, successful game which you had today? I always need to not to give up. Yeah, we played against a very good team. We never thought that they would play like this against us. Though we played uh, once in the qualifiers of the Chan. Uh, good, good for the win, good for the three points of the team. But to me as a player, I need to keep on working on more and more for more challenges and goals. Yeah, I believe... We are still going to make it. It's the time of journey. Yeah. You scored two goals today. Among the goals, which one do you think was fantastic and why? Yeah, I think my second goal was fantastic because I had to take on one and serve the ball in, where, which is not easy sometimes because they always close you so fast. Yeah, but I'm always trying it through in training, so I have to try it in match again. Is Leo, is Leo Messi your role model? Yeah, of course. Messi is my role model. Yeah, I like him so much. I wish I could do something and I'd be a little bit like him. Congratulations and uh, we'll be uh, in chat again in the next game. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. That's Okello. And uh, uh, for the guys who played very well today, but they were very unlucky uh, to score. But uh, they're still in the game and they have a fantastic... Uh, first of all, uh, sorry about the game. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. Can you turn around this side? Yes. Um, so... Uh, what is it? Why, why do you think you lose this game today? They get a two very, very, very easy goal. Easy goal and we get chances too, but it was today like this. Next, next game. And uh, you saw the Ugandans uh, before and you saw them today. Uh, is there any different when you saw them and uh, meeting them on the pitch? No, 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 no. We know they have a very, very good team and we also have a very good team. So. This was this was a good game. This was a good game, and next game I'm sure that we win. The first minute, maybe we weren't quite awake enough, but um, that that shocked us awake. And really, from that point, you know, Luquago in the goals, he's not had a serious shot to save, and we've created a number of chances. And really, on another day, maybe we score two or three more than today. But overall, I thought the boys did very well. Um, they pushed through. And yeah, as as the commissioner said, we um, you know we largely dominated the game, and yeah, we're pleased with that. So two wins from two games, it gives us a good foundation to move on in the tournament. Okay, question. Mention your name and your cooperation, and then ask the question. Question, please. My name is Timothy from Capital. Looking at Somalia, it's a side that in the yesteryears you can have easily won four zero five. But today it was made as difficult for you 
What would you say about the team and what they did the first year and then you beat them to zero? What can you comment about it? Yeah, I think in general it was we lacked maybe a little bit of you know sharpness, that little bit of energy in that last moment. So you saw some of the shots that were being hit um, weren't maybe as firm as they might normally be. Um, maybe players were taking one extra touch in the penalty box when normally they might shoot first time, and that shows a little bit of tiredness in the mind as well. So you know, I think. You have to take all factors into consideration. Yes, maybe if we didn't have a game two days ago, we convert a couple more of those chances today. But as I said, I'm pleased with the players. Um, the team that finishes on top at the end of these two weeks will be the team not only who has quality, but the team who manages the schedule the best. So we're trying to do that. Somalia, I thought, you know, they came out, especially their energy levels were good. Um, they came. They had a game two days ago as well. They kept pressing, and really, their press, they were closing off our space at least for 70 minutes of the game. I thought in the last 20 minutes, their pressing wasn't quite the same as it had been in the first 70, but look, that's to be expected. As I say, two games in 72 hours is very tough on anybody. But, you know, Somalia is a country that can, in footballing terms, when you look back five, 10 years ago, the development has been significant. And tournaments like this can only help all nations develop their players. And, you know, I wish the coach and his team all the very best. In the opening game, it was Bright and Kani, who probably had the best creative impact on the on the Uganda Cranes. Today, it's Alan Okello, who is scored two and had the best impact. Uh, what do you think about their combination and do you believe if one thrives, probably the other has suffers a bit? No, I, I don't think that at all. I think both of them had good games, but you ultimately find out, look, all of these players are quite competitive. You know, in training, at the training ground, in the hotel, everyone wants to be number one. It's a healthy competition, and so coming out of the first game, Alan played well, but he's probably thinking, I want to score, I need to do more. As you say, maybe one or two other people, the newspapers were talking about them. And so they all take that as a personal challenge. It's like a friendly competition between them. And today, you know, Alan's got the two goals. Uh, the second one's a really good goal coming in from that right-hand side. And yeah, and look, we've got a lot of match winners in the team. And that's the, you know, we struggle sometimes to select who's going to play where because we've got a lot of match winners. And if it's, if it's not going to be bright, it might be bio. If it's not going to be bio, it can be Ocalo. And if we're going to be successful, that's what you need. Yeah, look, talented footballers, intelligent footballers can play in a number of positions, okay? And Alan clearly can play through the center. Um, he can clearly be shifted. If we shift him to the left, you know he'll put in good quality crosses. If we shift him to the right, you know he can shoot. But that's the same, you know, we've got a number of intelligent footballers. We were talking about Shafiq. Everyone was surprised when Shafiq went and played in that number six position. They're like going, oh, we've never seen him in this position, yet he plays so well. Why is that? It's because he's an intelligent footballer. And we have a number of those in the squad who can play two or three positions. So we're pleased with that. Last question. Yes, coach. Uh, my name is Ken. Um, Shafiq had a, a wonderful game in the, in the previous game. But in this game today, he made several line passes and in a critical area of the game. In a critical area of the game. What option do you have in case you encounter a very aggressive team that is very sharp in case there is a mistake done in that area where Adim is playing? I think ultimately if you look at any of the small errors that Shafiq or any of the players made, most of them came in the last 20 minutes of the game. 
and again, there might have been one or two early, but the volume of any little mistakes were in the last 20 minutes. And again, that's a little bit of fatigue. But we've got options. You know, Shafiq's doing very well in there at the moment. Obviously, we brought Nicholas Kosozi on today. Um, Mutiaba can play in there. You know, there's a number of players. John Ravita could play in there if we wanted him to. So he has history in that position. So, you know, we're not short of options in different positions. Thank you. Uh, last question. Yeah, look, we have to go back. The boys are having an ice bath right now, you know, straight off the pitch into an ice bath that we had arranged um, because recovery is the biggest thing. And so now in a tournament, you've got to balance who is technically and tactically and mentally ready with also who's physically ready. And with every game, we did that today. We changed a couple around. And again, in the next game, probably we will have to change some players. Um, and all teams will have to do that. No team at this tournament will play six games with the same starting 11. It's not possible. So there'll be some changes.